Welcome to the Advanced Cardiac Life Support Chapter on Airway Techniques. It is imperative that you know the techniques for the basic airway tools for proper management of various cardiac problems. As discussed previously, the basic airway tools are OPA, NPA, and suctioning. Remember to only use the oropharyngeal airway, or OPA, on patients who are unconscious, as the OPA can stimulate gagging or vomiting. Before inserting an OPA on a patient, first ensure that there is no blood or vomit in the pharynx by using the rigid pharyngeal suction. When deciding which size OPA to use, keep in mind that the tip of the OPA should reach the corner of the patient's mouth while the flange reaches the angle of the mandible next to the earlobe. Put the OPA against the patient's face to determine the proper size. Make sure to choose the appropriate size of OPA for the patient, as a device that is too big may obstruct the larynx or cause trauma, and one that is too small can push the tongue back and block the airway. Insert the OPA as it curves upward toward the roof of the mouth, mindful not to push the tongue into the throat. When the tip reaches the back of the tongue, past the soft palate, Rotate the OPA 180 degrees so that the tip is then pointing toward the throat. Push the OPA slowly until the flange is resting on the patient's lips. The nasopharyngeal airway, or NPA, can be used on a conscious or semi-conscious patient. To use this airway device, first find the appropriate size by placing the NPA next to the patient's face and checking that it is equal to the distance from the tip of the nose to the earlobe. It is imperative to use a proper size for the MPA, as a wrong size MPA can go into the esophagus and cause gastric inflation. Lubricate the NPA when possible. Put the airway through the nostril slowly, moving in a backwards direction, down toward the floor of the nasopharynx rather than upwards. Be careful when inserting the airway as it can irritate the mucosa or lacerate the tissue and do not force the device. Suctioning helps maintain a patient's airway by removing secretions, blood, or vomit. When suctioning, use soft, flexible catheters for the oropharynx and nasopharynx and use rigid catheters only for the oropharynx. When oropharyngeal suctioning, remember to measure the catheter from the tip of the nose to the earlobe. Insert the catheter into the oropharynx just beyond the tongue. When endotracheal or ET tube suctioning, put the catheter into the ET tube and make sure not to extend beyond the ET tube. Each suction should be no more than 10 seconds, keeping in mind that the patient will not get oxygen during the suction. This was the chapter on airway techniques. Please proceed to the next section of this course to learn more.